Hi, I'm Kevin Peterson, and this is my Swing Analysis. So welcome to this week's My Swing Analysis. This is where we analyze one of your golf swings to help you take charge. It sure is. Please get involved. Go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Enter the competition. Hashtag My Swing Analysis. Definitely. And as you can see, we have a very special swing analysis today who watches all our videos, Kevin Peterson. <laughs> now, for you guys who don't know who Kevin Peterson is, Pierce is a cricketer. I'm not a cricket fan particularly. Nope. I know you are. Yeah. Uh, can you t tell us a little bit about Kevin well, and what know, he's done? You know he's a cricketer as well, though, don't you? Yeah, so uh, Kevin Peterson is... Uh, one of the best batsmen that's been around for the last 10, 15 years. Um, he's still playing cricket now. He hits the ball a mile. I'm not talking about in cricket as well. So he will hit sixes for fun. And as we found out, he hits golf balls for fun he's as well. He's a pretty now, good he? golfer, yes, Very he good is. golfer now. So, yes, definitely, if you don't know who he was before, make sure you check out the rest of this video and also the Thunder Step that we did with definitely, him as well. Yeah. And we were lucky to get invited to his charity uh, golf day out at Stoke Park. That's why we're wearing these T-shirts yes. today. His uh, foundation, KP24, uh, KP24 helping raise money to get sort of underprivileged kids back into, um, I suppose, a positive positive way. So, um, Kevin Peterson Pierce yeah. is a member at Wentworth Club down yeah. in Surrey, very nice golf club, handicap 6.5. So he's just almost on six with a, after today, Maybe even now he might be down to six, actually. He might have got cut yesterday, actually. I he might. on the weekend, actually. So we're going to take a look at Kevin's golf swing and see um, how we can improve it. And then hopefully, you know, you guys can draw something from this to, if you, you know, to help you with your game. So let's take a look. We're going to look at his golf swing from the camera, and then we've got some data on Trapman as well. Let's look at the camera first. So as we can see here, from the front on, setup looks really neutral. The only one thing that sort of jumps to us straight away, Pierce, is the ball position looks a little bit back. Yeah. And we'll sort of touch on that a little bit later. But as we go to the top of the back swing, um, very stable lower body great turn to the top of the swing here but nothing really that sort of jumps out you know that sort of uh, no alarm bells ring at the moment very so athletic we, very athletic strong guy and as we swing down low body moves towards the target creates pretty good impact and then through to a good finish now um, down the line's a little bit different let's have a look down the line now what we're going to see from here as we move away Decent backswing here, the club gets a little bit behind the hands but not too worried about that. But he reaches some good positions at the top of the backswing. And then as he starts the downswing, now this is where we're going to see a little bit more of what's going on here. We'll see the club at parallel point three. When the club's parallel to the ground here, slightly behind the hands pierce. Mm -hmm. Now when we see this, generally see we, we generally we see the club swinging out too much to the right um, and the path is too much to the right. And we'll see as we continue through now, we'll see the club swinging sort of over the plane on the way through, almost too straight really. And something on the way through pierce very similar to his sort of cricket style his sort of high finish and the club very much up in the air it just looks like he's just smashed a six straight back over the bowler's head so it's definitely very, very similar so we can see there i mean kevin was struggling with a push he was, yep. he was leaving it out right strong hitter leaving it out straight right so he said he'd like to play a draw so straight away when we look at this we've got the trap man data here pierce he's got let's look at the club path first of all we've got a club path on this 10 degrees to the right Okay, which is quite a lot, a lot to the right, isn't it? Swing direction, 11 degrees to the right, 11.6. And then we have a face to path uh, of negative 2.4. So the face is slightly close to the path, yeah. but that's still leaving us a push because the path is so far to the right. Yeah. So really we want to be able to correct this path um, hopefully to sort of give him that sort of square a shot, but he still wants to play that draw. So we still want a path to the right to get yes, that, don't we? we do. So the first thing that we we done Pierce with that then we said well look let's look at the easiest way to change the path yeah and his ball position was influencing his path wasn't it just it talk sure a little was. bit about that and what we actually did straight away with Kevin okay so first of all if we look at a ball position if we were to put the ball further back in the stance as you said there, Andy almost we, we talk about the golf swing being on an arc now the further back in the stance you put the golf ball the more the arc will be pointing out to the right when you strike it okay also the other thing that we we noticed from Kevin shots as well for optimizing distance seems crazy we're talking about that that he's actually hitting down on the golf ball ever so slightly yeah. 0 0.5 degrees and again that is caused by the golf ball being foot too far back in the stance so what we can do conversely if we put the ball back it makes the path more to the right if we then got the golf ball further forward the path would be pointing more to the left so we very simply just got the golf ball and with all this data we took from him, we said, just move the golf ball forward in your stance a couple of inches. So forward in the stance a couple of inches, suddenly then the path 
as we, as we saw, the path was less to the right, the attack angle was a little bit more on the way up, and he was able to hit draws from there. Definitely, and it also gives you a little bit more time to square the club face, doesn't yes. it, really? So just changing the ball position, we'll have a look at his data now on here from just changing the ball position. Um, and this, I mean, we didn't actually do anything with his golfing Nothing here. We changed the ball position, we got his club path 2 degrees, 2.4 degrees to the right, we've got his face to path negative 1 degrees, and we've got his swing direction to, uh, 6 one to the right and his attack angle here Pierce plus 4.6 so he's hitting up on the golf ball now this is probably as low as he got the club path is that he was averaging let's say five six this is one of his best ones so for us he was still maybe a touch yeah. too much to the right which we'd like to correct as well but you know if we can it just shows the influence on that ball position how you can change one thing and it has a massive impact doesn't it nearly 20 yards further as well with the drive 303 yards that drive yeah. as well in total so big difference so, yeah really good and obviously on the fairway as well so it's yeah. going to be running a lot more okay so the important thing then we would still like to do a little bit of work with Kevin's yeah. golf swing to get him closer to swing plane pier. So his path a little bit a little bit more neutral, but still to the right because he yeah. wants to play a draw. And we've got a great draw for the guys at home, let's say if they're doing something yeah. like this, but also for Kevin to do if he's yeah. he gets a chance, I'm sure he does at Wentworth okay. every day. So so what we're gonna do first of all is actually I'm gonna do my best to imitate what Kevin did as well. Yeah. So I'm gonna put the golf ball back in the stance. We'll get some track man numbers from myself doing this and then we'll show you the drill. So ball back in the stance, I'm gonna feel as though the swing is a little bit more what we would call under plane throughout the back and down swing. I'm gonna go for that trademark finish as well. Okay. We just like hitting a six this one. Let's see what the Let's numbers get to us then. There he goes up the right. And there we go, up the right. Pretty similar to what he actually played when we saw him there, Pierre. Yep. Okay, so we've got here a club path plus 10.6 which is very similar to what Kevin got. We've got the face to path there, negative 1.5. Okay. Um, swing direction, 11.2. A little bit of a, tiny bit of a draw, but you missed the fairway. Yeah. Okay, so that's what Kevin did. Yeah. Now we want to go through a, a drill that the guys can do at home and Kevin can do, and then we'll have a look and see how that affects the numbers. Okay, so first thing is, as we said, put the golf ball further forward in the stance. And the next thing is we call this in from the wall. So we like to imagine that there's a wall on the target line. So there's the wall there. Now the objective is that when I am swinging down through the hit, that I am swinging in from the wall. So you can see the club head there is coming in from the wall. Now what KP will do and what I just did there, I'll be smashing the wall. Yep. So I'll be sort of hitting the wall past the golf ball there, breaking the wall. The feeling is absolutely that we have to swing in from the wall. So it'll feel, it'll feel the club's swinging <coughs> more left. Okay, now yes. we don't actually want the club to swing left, nope. but it's a feeling that hopefully is going to reduce the path. You know, there's still to be the right, yes. right but not so much really. Well, if you've got such a, a, a path right bias at 10 degrees pretty consistently, you, f you can feel almost sometimes that you can slice it and knock the whole wall out over yeah. here and then swing to the left, and the path will still be two or three degrees, you know, to the right. So the, the, the best way for Kevin to monitor this is he, he continues to swing in from the wall, until his draw becomes a little bit of a fade. Yeah. Having said that, he might quite like the little bit of a fade as well. If he's hitting fairways and shooting good scores, yeah. he, why change? Okay. okay, so let's give us a let's give us a shot here then, Pierce, okay. and let's see what we actually get when you get this one feeling that you're in from the wall. Okay, so feeling of in from the wall, ball forward, and my finish will actually be a little bit less like the KP one. It'll be a little Much bit more, more round. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more round. All right, here we go. Nice. And actually, that is a beauty. Nice. A lot more distance. Let's take a look at what it says there. Right, okay, so club path on that one, Pierce, a lot different. So plus 2.8. Okay. Okay, swing direction 1.3. Face to path here, negative 4.3. So numbers so much lower there, Pierce. And, and when the path is a lot lower there, you know, you, you're just going to minimize any sort of excess curvature on the golf exactly. line. Getting it nearer to zero is definitely going to help you. But I mean, it's interesting there. My normal. Uh, path is to the right as well, maybe between five and seven degrees with the drive of my club path out to the right. So me doing that drill there, that's why I've hit a pretty good shot there. That's knocked it down. Was it 2.4? Did you say? 2.8. 2.8. 2. 2. 2. So, so that is 100% what Kevin should be doing, but it's 100% what Pierce should be doing <laughs> as well. He just needs a little bit more time to practice that. Yes. So some real good information there, and you know, using the trap man as well, some real mm. key numbers there to use. But I think it just shows Pierce the difference you can do in your setup by moving the ball position, yes. but also yeah. for somebody swinging a little bit too much to the right. A fantastic drill there, really does help, doesn't it? Ball forward and then from the wall. There we go.
So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that KP. Post any questions you have about that down below and we'll get back to you soon. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It allows you to see more videos like this. Now, Andy, how do people win this bag? And this beauty. Well, it's the first day of US Open today and we're giving away this bag with lots more prizes. Make sure you go to our header page video where you can enter the competition just by commenting on the video. Tell us who you think is going to win. Use the hashtag 250K giveaway and you could win this fantastic limited edition bag. Go and check it out right now. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon.